Welcome to episode 3 of our saga, Spirit of Adventure, cruise vlog series. Right then, morning, our breakfast has just arrived um, in our suite. And look, Polly Morgan's still in the pit. Come on, Polly. Your eggs have arrived. <laughs> Are you sleepy? Sleepy Mr. Peeperson. You coming up? Coming up, up where? <laughs> Getting up. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Look, we ordered this. You can have complimentary room service every day if you want to. So we've ordered some eggs, some toast, some juice. And we've got lots of different little marmalades and a pot of tea. We do like a pot of tea. So come on, Paulie. We asked for soft boiled egg. Is it though? Perfect, isn't it, Paulie? Yeah, Fair play. Right then. So we've just enjoyed a lovely breakfast in here. And our suite. Do you know we're in a suite? <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it, Pauline? But we've just been very confused because um, passenger locator forms, before we, went out, before we left the UK to return to the UK, we've today arrived in Amsterdam. Well, not Amsterdam, the Jumdum. Let me show you. <laughs> It's that we're here today, but we haven't had to do a locator form, have we, to get off in Netherlands? We got told that we have to fill out a passenger locator form for... to, to visit Belgium. Yes. You haven't got to do one for Holland or France. Anyway. So this morning it's been like it was like back to school and we had to fill forms out. And... Yes, but some really brilliant. They've actually put um forms in everyone's room to show you how to do it and they've also got um sessions so anyone that's having difficulty um so that's that's really good because it is confusing at the time and by the time you probably watch this video the, the system will have changed yeah. um so i think the thing with travel at the moment is it can be difficult we're seasoned travelers aren't we and we still find it confusing so don't worry too much about it because the staff on the ship are brilliant yeah. and really helpful um so don't worry about don't it don't panic i mean we didn't need to because obviously we're like super intelligent and we didn't get things wrong at all when we were filling that form out or get annoyed or angry no paul was a little grumpy you know he gets <laughs> But anyway, but we've, yes, done, they are. we've got our QR code, which they will scan when we get to Belgium tomorrow. To Belgium? Uh, did I say Belgium? Yeah. Oh, we're going to Bruges. <laughs> no, I was gutted, I'm... I think, oh my God, we can get off because I want to go to Bruges. I haven't been there for many years and I want to go and eat chocolate and I go might, on a canal boat. I might not even bother to get off tomorrow, to be honest. Well, I'll see you when you get back, then, <laughs> when I get back. Anyway, we're going to... from Belgium? From Belgium. So we're going to... Um, we're not going to get off today because we've been to Amsterdam a few times. Um, we're going to go and explore the ship and explore... So we're going to take you on a tour of Deck 12 of the Spirit Adventure now, aren't we, Paul? And we're going to start off right at the front of the ship. And we're just at the front by Britannia Lounge. And we want to show you the Observation Lounge. But we probably won't be able to speak at this because it's quite windy. What I like was, is when you said, aren't we poor? And before I even had a chance to answer, you carried on talking. Oh, this is what my life's like. I can't, I, I can't get word in edgeways. <laughs> really? The observation deck is actually called the Britannia Balcony. From here, you get excellent views over the front of the ship, including the side arms of the bridge. As you can probably tell by Carol's hair, it was a tad windy outside, so after a very quick look around, we headed back into the Britannia Lounge. So in warmer climates, oh, that's still got me hair in my eyes. So in warmer climates, that would be a really good place to, to watch a sailing, wouldn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, but obviously, it's November, we're in um, the Netherlands, so... In the Nim Jin. But like I was trying to say out there, if you didn't hear me, this is the gateway to Amsterdam, where a lot of ships now dock, they don't actually go into the centre of Amsterdam, which is a shame, isn't it? Because we've been on ships that have gone right in the centre, which is great. Not cast aspersions, but it's all about the money. 
Well, we don't know that. It must be cheaper here to dock here. Oh, yeah, well, I guess. Yeah, you, you dock right outside yeah. the Book and Dock yeah. Longfield, don't you? Yeah, yeah, we've um, But we're staying on board and we'll show you a bit more of um, Deck 12. If we can get through the door. And this is the Britannia Lounge. We love this lounge in the day and night. I'm going to show you all the different seating and the beautiful windows. And the lovely Katrina, who's been looking after us so well. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> yes, it's a beautiful lounge with all different seats. If you don't want to be by the music or by the dance floor, there's all this extra seating here as well. So, um, yeah, beautiful. Right, so we're heading to the Lido now. Thank you. Mmm, look at this, lovely. So, lots of towels, lots of sunbeds. Nobody swimming. <laughs> ah, and two whirlpools. A normal bar poorly. Oh look, they've got um ice cream machine. Oh look, you've got cones, gluten free and chocolate and caramel. No, we're okay. Just looking, thank you. It's a bit yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Oh no, it's a bit chilly for ice cream at poorly. As with all pool decks, the Lido really comes alive in sunnier weather. There's even a small stage at the end of the pool that features live music. We found this out when we visited her sister ship, Spirit of Discovery. As you leave the Lido and head towards the aft of the ship, you'll find the grill. This is a buffet restaurant by day, serving breakfast from 7 until 10 and lunch from noon until 2. In the evening, the grill becomes a waiter service restaurant, serving dinner from 6.30 until 8.30. We just arrived at the grill and um, basically look you've got obviously sea views, not the most picturesque in the Jimden, but you can also order from um, John and Paul Fancy Fish and Chips which is out on the veranda, but obviously it's quite a cool day so but you can order it and the, the waiters will go and get it so just so that you know that, but they've got the most fabulous um, salad bar. I've got prawns and ham and cheese and salmon and Dean's got roast lamb in it. Lamb, yeah. Yeah, with um, mashed potato and broccoli. So the selection up there is, is pretty awesome. The, um, out the back as well where they do the fish and chips is there's like a burger station as well so they do all burgers and that sort of stuff as well. Yeah. So, so I'll probably have me fish and chips and then maybe um, <laughs> try a burger. <laughs> so Paul and John have got the fish and chips, look at that. Oh yes please. Well yeah. over. On the fish and on the uh, and the chips please, thank you very much. Vinegar time. Lovely, thank you. Ooh. Same for me please, yeah, lovely. Beautiful, Perfect. thank you. 
and tartar sauce and mushy peas are made. Mm. Well, the salad was just absolutely superb and Dean said that the lamb was just superb. Food on here is just, um, we haven't, well, can't say enough good things about it, can we? Because it's just like exceptional. It's amazing. Paul's uh, devoured his fish. And John, what's the verdict on the fish? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I think that, that's. That, um, um, the subtitle <laughs> of that was that means it's really good. <laughs> mm. uh, so, the Dutch apple and mascarpone custard oh. is a hit. Dean and John. Yeah. Mmm. You won't, probably got no room for dessert, have you, Paulie? No, as you know, my body's a temple, so I won't be putting any sugary things into my body. <laughs> and then he said, oh, I just found room. <laughs> so kindly, they um, had the crumble. Paulie's going to try it now. Oh. It's nothing special, to be It is, isn't it? You wouldn't like it, mate, I'm convinced. Well, you're after mine. <laughs> so we've just had the most fabulous meal of Korea again, haven't we, Paul? We have, yes. Food is just awesome. And uh, we've carried on walking backwards on deck 12, and we're out on the veranda. And look at this. This is where they do the fish and chips, Paul, isn't it? And the burgers that, you, like Paul had in there, you can order in. Um, it is a bit breezy, but they do provide blankets. But oh, and the sun's shining, though, Paulie. Yeah. So right at the back of the ship, you can look down there and see the lovely tiered aft. So there we are, that's deck 12, isn't it, Paulie? It's lovely, isn't it? It is lovely. It's been obviously not very conducive at the moment with the weather, but uh, well, what a beautiful setting to have a meal. Yeah, it is. Perfect. Hello. 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 Good, thank you. Your fish and chips are delicious. We have some just now in there. It was beautiful. Yeah, this is brilliant. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, but which side, Paulie? Left. Left. Is it? Has he gone the other way? I still don't know. Oh, there it is. Five, two, four. Welcome to our suite. What I find is, is if you use your brain, <laughs> you'll find your room. <laughs> well, lots of ships have odd and even sides, but Saga don't. Because if you see next door's five, two, three, we're five, two, four. And have you seen that one out there as well? No, you're not going to lock me out. <laughs> Ah, here we are. Right then. Right then. So we've been chilling for a couple of hours in our suite. Um, so comfortable in Paulie, not going to want to leave. So, um, can you just book another cruise, please? I think, uh, <laughs> I think the staff might have something to say about you not wanting to leave, but... Well, oh. but anyway, um, we have had a, a lovely, another lovely day on um, Saga Spirit of Adventure. We've had a good walk around the ship. Um, the fish and chips were divine. They were. <laughs> yeah. So um, we're still in Amsterdam, well, Le Jumden, whatever you call it. Um, we're just waiting for sail away. We've had a lovely, actually, the weather's been good, hasn't it? It's been wet, not just and been wet, it's been windy. And you want to say something with a W. <laughs> It's been very windy, even though the sun's out, it's been really quite cold, yes. hasn't it? So I haven't been able to sit outside, but um, actually with a coat on, it's fine. Yeah. So um, Paul's off to meet uh, your dad and brother, aren't you? And they're, what are we eat again? But I'm just stuffed to the gunnels. The food is awesome. Um, but I'm going to just stay in the camper, enjoy our little bar. In the there. camper? You're staying in the just camper? Just in the camper again. Oh, my God. Stay in the suite. Because I want to get some time lapse. I know it's dark, but I'm going to try and get some time lapse of the sail away. And I just love being outside, even though it's cold, and you like sitting in a bar listening to music. There you go, Matt. Yes. So it's your choice. Which would you do? 
Would what you, lovely sea would, views would you vid- on a fantastic Would you video cruiser? something in the dark, which when it's finished <laughs> is going to look like that? Or would you like listening to some music? In, in the dry, <laughs> in the warm. Anyway, so we'll, um, and then I'm going to meet, and we've got a great show tonight, isn't it, with um, Bernie... Flint. Flint, yeah. Um, a guy from Opportunity Knox. He's, he holds the record for the longest consecutive winning run. Yes. Which I think was 12 weeks. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's never going to be broken now because uh, the programme hasn't been on for 147 years. <laughs> so. <laughs> we have seen him before and we remember he was excellent, wouldn't yes. we? So we're looking forward to that. So that's the Playhouse Theatre and we're going to have to check out some of the music around the ship later too, aren't we? we? Are indeed. But we can't have a late night. Do you know, we thought we're cruising with Saga, we're going to be in bed by 11 o'clock most nights. What time have we been in bed? First night was one o'clock, it was half past one. Last night was half past two in the morning. So tonight we're having an early night because we're off to Bruges tomorrow on an excursion. We are. So um, so no one for the roads. We'll let I you think, know where we get on. I think we know who's in charge, don't we? And I think we know it's not me. So when she <laughs> says, I did this, I did that, I think you all know by now that none of it is true because it doesn't matter what I say. She takes little or no notice. So if we have a late night tonight, it won't be of my shoes then. Right then. So, um... <laughs> Oh. We just, what can we, I say? Steven Spielberg, I'll bet he's now, he's, he's probably just woke up in like Hollywood or wherever he lives and he's thinking to himself, there's a new filmmaker out there and I need to be worried. And that new filmmaker is uh, my wife. Was it my fault? My wife and associate Karen Morgan Slater because we've just done about a 20 minute piece to camera and she decided she hadn't even bothered to turn it I on. I did turn it on but it, didn't, it got stuck. Uh, well, GoPro's got, fault. We've only got your worth now, haven't we? So anyway. anyway. <laughs> We want to talk about our evening on uh, our third evening. I don't know why I did five then. Uh, our third we evening. We want to talk about our third evening. <laughs> on the spirit of adventure. So our evening started differently. I stayed in the cabin to watch the sail away, which I thoroughly loved. Um, it was a bit cold um, and a bit windy, but um, I put my coat and my socks on. I was all right. Um, so I watched the sail away, watched the pilot get on and drift off into the distance, which I'll show you now. And while I was doing that and just chilling out in the ca- in the cabin, I was going to say camper again then, right. chilling out in the in the suite, uh, Paul went off to have dinner, didn't you, at the grill? Went to the grill. And I, it was, uh, to be fair, very busy in the grill tonight, but still excellent service. Um, we were running a bit behind schedule and we didn't want to miss the show, so we ended up just having a, a starter and a main. We had, um, we all, m- myself, my brother and my father had scampi, which was delicious. And then... I had a beautiful fillet steak and my dad and my brother went old school with bangers and mash, Mm. onion gravy and it was delicious because I did nick a little bit off my dad. (laughs) And I had a bag of nuts. Yeah. (laughs) So after a lovely sail away from uh, Le Le Jumden, uh, we're heading off to Bruges. I just want to throw a little side note in. I always thought that the place we were going was called Zeebrugger. Well, it is. But, that's the port. Well, no, they all day today they've been saying that when you get to Zeebrugge tomorrow. Oh. So, um, answers in comments, please. Is it Zeebrugger or Zeebrugge? Wow. I'm pointing down. I don't know what's going on, but you know, what do you think? But. Back to tonight. Who was right? The people who work on a cruise ship who goes to this port all the time, <laughs> or me, well, who went to school in the Forest of Dean. It's up to you. Well, so we then met in the North Cape bar and had a drink before we went to the theatre to see Bernie Flint. Now, that was brilliant, wasn't it? It was excellent. <laughs> it was. excellent if you ever show. get the chance to see Bernie Flint, um, 
Paul described before we went out, wasn't it, um, earlier, you said, didn't you, about the, his opportunity knocks and his history. So um, he were, he came on, he's got an absolutely phenomenal voice, yeah. isn't he? Really rich, um, rich voice that um, he sang a few songs, but in between that he just tells stories. Um, stories and jokes and banter. He's just 69 yeah. years of age. Yeah. Um, he won Opportunity Knocks in 1977. Yeah. And as I said earlier, he was, um, for all you kids out there, obviously it's just this is the time you turn the volume down, but for people our age and older, if you won, you rolled over to the next week and he won 12 weeks mm. on the trot, which was the record for Opportunity Knocks. Yeah. And then when you think that there was artists in the 70s who won Opportunity Knocks, like Peterson Lee, Les Dawson, Lena Zavaroni, it gives you some idea of how phenomenal that achievement yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. But he, he was just, um, he oh, had the brilliant. audience hysterics. The woman behind us, I thought she was going to lay an egg. Yeah. She was laughing so much, okay. wasn't she? But it was brilliant. So if you ever get to see him again, um, well, we're going to get to see him again tomorrow, aren't we? Because he was so funny. Um, he's in the Britannia Lounge tomorrow, so we're going to go there. And what topped our night off as well is we went to the Britannia Lounge to watch the band. Because your dad loves them, doesn't he? Yeah. So your dad's really happy there. Um, well, he's happy everywhere, but he does particularly like that sort of sort of music. We um, bumped into Emily Haig. Well, she he, she stopped you, didn't she? Said, oh, she stopped Paul? me. Are you, she said, are you Paul from Paul and Carlos for Travel? And I said, yes, I am. <laughs> and I said, and who are you? And she said, I'm Emily Haig. And I said, and who are you? <laughs> no, you didn't, Paulie. No, you said to tit, didn't you? I didn't. You can't say oh, that. Oh, sorry. P- apologies. I might have to bleep that out. Yeah. I didn't make it to her show the other night because we were in the Britannia Lounge, but Carol went to see I her didn't. and she you was said super, she was absolutely phenomenal. She's a soprano um, singer that's got this phenomenal voice um, and thankfully she's performing again on Friday. So we've just been ch- sat chatting we with have. her, haven't we, for about I don't know, half an hour We thought we'd so. have a five minute chat and like an yeah, hour and a bit later. Yeah, she's lovely. She's lovely. So um, we're really looking forward to that. Anyway, we're gabbling again, aren't we? We've got to get um, to bed because it's one in the morning. We've got to be up in six hours. <gasps> I've set the alarm for seven o'clock. We've got breakfast coming at quarter to eight, and then we've got to go and meet in the um, North Cape Bar for our excursion. We're off to Bruges tomorrow. So I've been before many years ago. You haven't, have you? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I really don't know. I think I have been there, but I can't really remember what I did yesterday. So I think when I get there, it'll look familiar. Do you reckon? Yeah. But anyway, so uh, <laughs> we're going to go... Is it full of like, people from Belgium and stuff like that? Yeah, and chocolate. Ooh. Chocolate beer, raspberry beer, Chocolate apparently. beer? Well, I'm sure they have all sorts of beer, don't they? Oh, well, and just... chocolate, and there's canals, and it's supposed to be beautiful. The Venice of the North, do they call that, or is that somewhere else? They were just making stuff. <laughs> <I know. laughs> just making stuff. Anyway, we've got to go to sleep, because we've got to be up to enjoy our last two days on... Spirit of Adventure. We've loved our time on the ship. Um, I think you've probably got that vibe. Well, what you said just now about we're waffling. Then. Oh yeah, we're waffling. <laughs> we'll talk again tomorrow then. Yes. So good night. Good night. If you've enjoyed our video, why don't you watch one of these videos next?